Hello. I wanted to share my experience with you guys because something unusual has happened where I wasn't expecting myself and that is I've lost weight doing this. Well, I wondered if I would lose weight but the intention when I first started this a week ago was to just give my digestive system a rest really. Um, so basically for a week I've been just drinking juices and eating fruits like soft fruits like kiwi and pawpaw or papaya and when I've been getting more feeling like more hungry on top of the juices I've been eating frozen banana ice cream and also dates and that's pretty much what I've been eating and so I probably drink this much juice a day if I'm lucky that's probably two and a half liters and this is just mandarin juice and I've been I normally add water to that so it's probably two-thirds mandarin juice and one-third water and then with these I was adding cauliflower and, and celery but it was just making the juices taste much more gross so now I've just been sticking to what tastes to me like chocolate milk actually <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but to me it does if I close my eyes, and I think it's all the lettuce that I put in it anyway, but it's got kale, lots of kale and lettuce, like tons, and carrots and apples, um, so that's it, yeah, and I was putting ginger and turmeric, but I just didn't like the taste of the juice, and when you're drinking a lot of juice in a day, um, I think it's got to taste good, and to those I also add water. So I'm not just drinking juice, I am at drinking water on top of that juice, okay? Because I initially I thought maybe I'd just go on a juice cleanse, but um, but after a while I just didn't like the idea of feeling deprived and because I have chronic fatigue syndrome I have to watch the amount of uh, my energy levels. So that's when I started supplementing with fruit and with this I thought there's no way I'm going to lose weight but like I said I have. Anyway, I'm just going to talk to you a bit about my experience, so I'm going to go over and sit on the chair. I'll be back with you in a tick. I can't go anywhere without my dogs. <laughs> they just, they just got to, <laughs> they just got to be with me. It's a strong guy, especially when I'm trying to do yoga. Oh, anyway, um, the other reason I wanted to do like a rest of my digestive system, and I suppose I'm not really because I'm eating fruit as well, is because. Two months ago, I had this one in my arms, and then I stepped over the Labrador. The Labrador stood up, and I landed all my. I tripped her over, and I landed all my weight onto my left knee. And the knee hasn't healed. I don't think there's any ligaments broken. I did <laughs> check out YouTube, did all these tests, but it's not healing. And it's because I'm doing, still trying to do yoga every day, and stretches like. Yeah, you know, pose like pigeon pose where I'm twisting the knee and I think it just continued to aggravate the knee. And the reason why I've been so adamant on continuing to do stretching and yoga is because I, I deal with a left hip problem that I don't want to get a hip replacement for. And so I just, because it causes me pain and yoga relieves it, I just continue to be, a, be an idiot and just, you know, try to do yoga anyway. So, I have, so it hasn't healed. So I wondered if... Giving my digestive system a rest would help me heal the knee a bit better as well, as well as not doing pigeon pose and other twisting of the knee stretches anymore. Anyway, so, um, so, and I also want to say that, like, you know, I myself have questioned the the good the goodness of juicing, like, and having weird diets, but. Um, um, and I'm also aware of like certain nutrients that I wouldn't be getting. For example, zinc. I'm pretty sure I'm not getting enough zinc while I'm doing this, this, this what I'm eating at the moment. But I know it's not forever, and there is probably trace amounts of zinc in the foods that I'm eating. Um, and I'll get, you know, get back to eating. I'm not taking any supplements. I just don't do supplements, so I'll get back to eating zinc when I. I get back to the normal diet, but anyway, eating zinc-rich foods. So, um, so, so, so I thought for a long time I'd really like to do a water fast, but I have chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia, and probably, and you know, so as soon as I stop eating, my energy levels just 
go to the shitter, okay? And but and also, like, I've got the imperfect environment here at home to water fast, okay? But honestly, I have no willpower. Like, I can't even do a juice fast without wanting to eat fruit. Like, I just, you know, I'm a shocker. So, but I had thought that, because I have fibromyalgia, I have this theory that if I could lose a lot of my muscle, I could lose um, pain because I have a lot of pain in my muscles, okay? And I honestly believe that that could be very helpful to me and also just, you know, just have my body heal. Because I have fast, water fasted twice before in my life in the south of France. And for both times I did 12 days on water and I did about a week either side on juice, like just two cups of juice a day at this place called Mombajan, okay, that's the name of the fasting clinic, and, um, and yeah, and it was really great, I mean, I, I mean, it was an amazing experience, you know, so I'm not against water fasting, like some people would say it's really extreme and that, but anyway, um, before, and, 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 you know, I've never really done a juice fast, because Honestly, I just thought, you know, because I've water fasted, I was like juice fasting. I mean, the body's still having to process stuff. It's not going to be useless, right? Doing a juice fast, I might as well not even try it. But, and even like a juice and just eating fruit. But what I've realized in this last week of eating like this is it really does give your digestive system a rest, even with just eating fruit on top of the juices because the fruits are quite easy to digest and it also helps sweep out toxins that might be going into the bloodstream, right? But, and, and like, honestly, every time I think about eating, like, start, cooked starches or cooked food or even some nuts, to get, even some pumpkin seeds to get more zinc, my body just says, no, please don't. You know, I just have really felt the benefit of just giving my digestive tract a relative rest, you know, and I guess I struggle with digestion because of my health condition. Anyway, but the most amazing thing is, is that I've lost, well, I didn't actually weigh myself on the first day I started because I just didn't expect to lose weight and it wasn't my primary goal, right, but I, probably one or two days after I started, I can't remember, I weighed myself and I was 56 and a half kilo, so I'm not a heavy, heavy chick. That's about 124 pounds. And then today I weighed myself like a week after I started, like I started last Saturday, and I'm like 121 pounds or 55 kilo. So I've actually lost like three pounds in a week, and that's pretty amazing to me because, um, like, I have not been restricting really at all, right? Um, so it's actually an encouragement. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe I don't need to water fast to try and lose some muscle, you know, or some body, body, uh, you know, body material to see if I can try and ease this muscle pain, this fibromyalgia muscle pain, okay? So, yeah, so because... Before I started this diet, this juicing fruit thing, generally I've showed you what I eat in a day, okay, or the types of foods I eat. I do eat starches because I've found that they give me more energy. I don't eat white rice because I've noticed that increases muscle pain, but I eat potato, sweet potato and rolled oats, and I eat the rolled oats because they are high in zinc, and the other thing I eat, non-fruit vegetable, is pumpkin seeds because they're high in zinc, okay? So, um, yeah... So, yeah, anyway, so I think I'm going to just continue. To, and the other reason I, I wanted to go on a juice, fa like a juice thing now is because I had so many greens in my garden and now it's getting warmer. It's the end of August, so we're going into spring now. September, 1st of September will be the start of spring. And my lettuces were starting to bulb and I just didn't like to waste the greens after going to all that effort to... Um, and to grow them, so I thought I've got so many greens, right? Now's a good time to do this juice thing. So, like I said, now I've lost this bit of weight in a week. It's encouraging me to keep going with this regime that I'm on. I had the idea that, you know, yeah, I'd ease myself into a juice fast by eating fruit the first few days and then kind of, you know, not shocking my mental 
<laughs> no, shocking me, myself mentally too much and then going to a juice fast. But um, I've just continued to eat the fruit and because like I said, I hate feeling deprived and like I hate feeling like I'm stressed with what I'm eating, okay, with my diet. Like I just don't do deprivation very well, okay. So um, anyway, and has my muscle pain decreased in the last week? I don't know, but you know... I suppose it has a little bit, actually, and and I don't exercise because of the knee and the hip pain, but particularly because of the hip pain, I don't walk at all except for around the house and doing gardening. What I do do every day is I do yoga and stretching nearly every day, like when I don't have something on where I've got to go out, like, you know, and what I do a lot. I do a lot of yoga and stretching, like, you know, I'm not afraid to say I probably even do a couple of hours of it you know, not yoga flows, like more like stretches, more like holding stretches for two minutes at a time, one to two minutes at a time and stuff like that. So, you know, it's not like two hours of full on stretching because, you know, you got to get in out and out of stretches and all that stuff. And I jig around between stretches, you know. So anyways, well, I hope this video has been interesting and I wanted to share my experience with you guys and um, and I'll keep you updated about my muscle pain and any more weight loss. And I don't, like I said, I don't know how much longer I'm going to do this regime for. Because, like I said, I'm aware I'm not getting enough zinc in my diet at the moment. And I don't like that. But um, yeah, when I stop, or you know, if I go another week or so, I'll I'll continue to share my experience, the results of my experiment. Okay, I see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.